Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We are back with a new time of series, making a mobile base hovercraft. Do I dare call it a mothercraft? So let's get started. So we are getting set to make a new time lapse series and it's based on hovercraft rovers in a sense. My idea this time around is going to be a little bit of commentary, a little bit of time lapse at the same time. So I can share the experience all in one episode instead of waiting for three to four episodes for some context. Right. First things first, let's see what the world settings are. So we're going to call this the hover base. We are in survival and we're going to take a look at the mods. So the mods, we did add a bunch of animated mods here just to make it look cool for the time lapse in terms of movements and things like that. So we did the animated buttons, animated cryopods, animated jump drives or detectors, gyroscopes, cockpits. And I've got to add animated atmospheric thrusters, inventory initially. So we're going to put that in there. So we have those things moving along as well. Other than that, we have our more common ones that I always use in each world settings, and that's the HUD modern and fancy color to make the HUD look a little bit better and colorful. We have build vision so we can control each and every block individually without having to go into the control panels. And of course, easy inventory. Yes, we don't need it, but I like to use it in conjunction with build planner. And of course, we are enlisting nanobot build and repair just to make things a little quicker and to have a little light show for the time lapse as well and a paint gun so the paint gun is going to help us with painting our ship it's something i don't normally do but we're going to invest our time to do it with this paint gun instead of having our middle mouse button to paint and lastly the main concept of the series itself for the hovercraft is hover engines and we're going to create a hovercraft using hover engines and not just with wheel suspensions so other than the mods itself we didn't change much in the advanced settings the only thing i changed was the character inventory size which is going to be a time lapse series so it's going to be boring watching me go back and forth back and forth gathering materials so we're just going to up the inventory size just for the character itself although we probably don't need it because we have easy inventory but we're not touching anything else in terms of inventory size uh, we're going to take out the pcu limit so no maximum there and what I really change is going to be enable spectator, uh, in-game scripts, and down the bottom, I turn off weather because weather blocks the view from time lapses. And I got rid of uh, progression because I, I didn't kind of want to deal with that in the very beginning. With that said, uh, it looks like I missed one. I don't like auto respawn, so we're going to get rid of that as well. All right, so I hope you guys will enjoy this series. Of course, let me know if you are. All right, so now you know what the world settings are. Let's check out that time lapse.
Right, so the time lapse you'll see many different things happening, especially the very beginning, getting started of a new series, and that requires making a first rover ship, or in this case, somewhat of a hovercraft. So pretty much I took the original drop pod or respawn pod and equipped it with wheels, but facing the wrong way to make it, much as you guys know, a hovercraft. And honestly, that's something you could easily make in the very beginning with very little materials and most most of the materials coming from the respawn pod itself but of course you wouldn't be able to weld up the wheels or the suspensions in that way because it does require two small steel tubes and you want to get three small steel tubes when you deconstruct the respawn pod so all you really need is steel plates to make the suspension wiring so don't weld it up and it actually still operates pretty fine i mean all you have to do is get into your cockpit Go to the wheel settings. Um, ideally, take off steering. You don't have to. And the and more important thing is to take off the friction. So once you do that, even with the wiring and no nothing welding up solid like it is now, you can use the thrusters that came with it, but reposition them. So you reposition them forward, backwards, left and right. So you do come stock with four thrusters, a fifth one as a hydrogen thruster. So you have that same material to use that. A second battery, you wouldn't be able to have, but but in due time, once you have your assembler and refineries all set up, you should be able to do that um, fairly, fairly quickly. But yeah, so this is my current scouting hovercraft with the anim animated cockpit, which is pretty cool, where you see it open and closing. Initially, the way I had this thing um, stopping was with a piston and a magnetic plate in the front. Because if you just have forward and backwards momentum like I did, there's no sideways and, and there's no left there's no sideways thrusting left and right, which is causing it it was causing it to constantly move and not completely stop. So we had to use a piston and a mag plate to lock onto ground to prevent it from moving. Once we were able to make some more thrusters that added the two on the side, which honestly I could have just did one thruster in the front forward, one thruster backwards. And two on the sides. I had the materials to do that. I don't know why I decided to go against that and make it a little bit harder on myself. But this hovercraft actually works out really well. We can go pretty fast with this thing. Uh, we have a gyroscope, which is something you need to make um, to make this hovercraft work pretty well in terms of like turning and gliding and everything like that. And that's something you don't have as a basic material in the very beginning. But of course, once you gather enough stone to make the basics from the survival um, kit, which I replaced that with an oxygen tank, you'll be able to make something like that. The large steel tube would have came from either thruster or, or it could have came from the hydrogen thruster. So yeah, you can make a decent hovercraft with your basic materials just off of the respawn pod itself. Granted, you might have to get gather a little bit of stone and refine it through the survival kit, but nothing too crazy. When you're all settled in, that's pretty much when you can weld up everything else and get it working. So this is the hovercraft and it works well. And in the time lapse, you saw that jump this cliff there as well. Land it, no problems. <laughs> so once I got my hovercraft working, the initial hovercraft here, I went in search for some ice. And if you didn't notice, we are on Pertam. So ice is a bit lacking in terms of like an ice lake and things like that. But one way to find ice is to look for these things called oasis. And this is the lush green area with grass and green trees. Not the dried up stuff like next to it right there. So right here is where all the ice is. So you'll see there 17 meters down is our ice. So once we found some ice, that's when we parked ourselves next to some iron deposit. Which luckily wasn't too too far as you see here. And I plopped down our very first drilling machine and we're going to drill down as much as we can in terms of the iron itself i'm trying to avoid gathering too much of anything else but right now we gathered some stone obviously to go down but we're not going to go too deep and just try to gather as much iron as we can in terms of nickel and silicon we have a few deposits around for that and i did search for a lot of materials so we started probably about nine kilometers away and we traveled this far just to find a better base. And of course we have a few that's pretty close. We have cobalt nearby as well. 
for metal grids and things like that so we're in a decent spot the only thing we're missing is going to be platinum silver gold right this moment but it's going to take some time to get all that anyways and those materials are going to be the main aspect of the build as well because it does take gravity components to make those hover engines so here are the hover engines and you'll see that it's gravity components that is going to be the main thing that's going to be hard to get right this minute so it's going to take some time to gather all that materials and build out the hovercraft mobile base or mother sh mother ship hover craft mother craft <laughs> that's what i'm planning or thinking of calling this so once i got my basic station set up with a assembler refinery i took down the survival kit as i mentioned before replaced it with with the oxygen tank on the rover um some cargo containers o2 h2 generator another cargo container and some pistons so one piston going up some conveyors to the right or forward wherever whichever direction you're looking at and some pistons going down with a drill so initially we had just one single drill going down then later we decided to add a rotor to it so we can slide left and right and swing this to gather the rest of the materials down there um, how well that's going to work not that great but so far so good we'll make it a little bit bigger so we could gather materials better in the future but other than that we put down some kind of format or floor plan half of it at least of what we're going to make so right here is pretty much the middle and we're probably going to extend it pretty wide as you see here and this is just one side of it so far and i gotta complete it on the other side yes it looks like a ship but i'm trying to use a ship floor plan convert it into a hovercraft mobile base looking like thing and i'm gonna create these legs um throughout the whole entire thing i might remove this one the floor plan became wider than i expected it to be so i want them to stick out past these little triangles uh, or the wing pieces so i'm gonna see several of those lined up outside or at least eventually i think what i might do actually maybe just remove them all together because we're not going to get platinum, gold, silver, and things like that anytime soon, I would believe. While we're creating this um, hovercraft, we're probably going to use wheel suspensions for the hovercraft. And actually move this thing along and drive it around to look for the available resources. Um, how well that's going to work, I'm not too sure. Because we're in a very, very tough spot where everything looks a bit mountainous. So we should be able to climb certain things, but not everything, unfortunately. So lots of materials to get. And of course, we enlist, build, and repair. Um, so it'd be a lot quicker than me welding it all by hand. All right, so the best part of the series so far has been this remodeled, deconstructed hovercraft from the respawn pod. Let me know down in the comments below if you want me to upload this into the workshop. I'll gladly do that and remove some of the ones that are mod specific. But everything else is pretty much vanilla and it's actually something simple and why did i think of this sooner no idea all right so if you are enjoying the series so far look forward to a ton more coming up soon and hopefully this will be a short and sweet series and have this mother craft hovercraft mobile base done fairly quickly all right so you guys know what to do if you are enjoying the series hit that thumbs up like the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below drop a comment or two as well and of course i'll see you guys next time bye